Hey guys, and welcome back to Do It On A Dime with Catherine. You guys asked in my last thrift video to see how I made over our coffee table for under $50 in a farmhouse style. The one I wanted to get was 400 online, and here's how you can achieve the same look. Step one is to gather your supplies. You'll need the furniture you're refinishing, chalk paint, a lint-free cleaning rag, fine grain sandpaper, and you also need a polyurethane top coat in satin finish. I'm gonna link everything below for you guys. And finally, you need natural hair brushes. It's really important when working with chalk paint. You can get chalk paint at your hardware store and they'll even tint it in the color that you want. Next is to prep your area. Using a water and a lint-free rag, wipe everything down and make sure no dust remains. Now for the painting part. This is chalk paint and I love the finish. You don't have to go with the grain of the wood. You can really mess this up and you don't have to be a great painter. In fact, I think the messier you paint, the more beautiful it looks, especially with that rustic farmhouse finish. And I am using a really big brush to do that to get really full coverage, but you can use a smaller brush to get into some of those crevices or paint the additional hardware. Chalk paint is so forgiving and it dries really fast. Within 20 to 30 minutes, you'll be able to do the second coat. And once you see that second coat go on, it's a total game changer. Your piece is gonna really start to look much more professional and chalk paint gives such great coverage. Just work evenly and quickly as it does dry very fast. Now you could leave it like this, but since I'm obsessed with Chip and Joanna Gaines and Fixer Upper, of course I have to distress it get some sandpaper. Here I'm using a 220 grain and the lower the grain you go, the faster it's going to remove the paint. So that's why I like to start with a higher one and you just wanna go over the piece in places where it would naturally weather. And you can't mess this up, you guys. If you end up doing it too much in one spot, just put a little chalk paint on it and start over again. Make sure you wipe everything down to get off any remaining dust. This step is also totally optional, but my piece had a really pretty center, so I wanted to give it another color. This is some paint I already had in a beautiful Parisian gray, so I went through and added a nice light coat to the top of it. And once that had dried, I just took an auto sponge and went over it really lightly with some white paint to give it a distressed look. The last step is your top coat. You wanna use a satin polyurethane. I'm gonna link it down below. When you go into the store, they're gonna wanna sell you chalk paint and a finishing wax. Here's the thing about waxes. You have to buff them in and you've gotta redo it every couple of months. So for really high traffic pieces, coffee tables, kitchen tables, I am obsessed with the polyurethane finish. It gives a beautiful satin look. It goes on like nail polish, but dries clear. It does not alter the color of your piece and it makes it so beautiful. The chalk paint and the polyurethane, you can't go wrong. We love our new coffee table, especially the fact that I could do this for under $50 and not have to pay $400 retail. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, be sure to leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I can't wait to catch you in the next one. God bless you and your family, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Owen! <laughs> what am I gonna do with you? No, 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 come on.